Good afternoon guys. I'm extremely excited to share with you a product I received in the mail today. This is the official Google Chrome CR48 test notebook. Now, when I received this, I was a little taken aback. I didn't really realize what, what it was. Uh, when you open the box up, the outer box, it shows this little diagram. Um, not really sure what that's supposed to be, but it has a, a test pilot mouse with a powered jet-powered wheel, apparently. Uh, just thought that was kind of interesting. I've already opened the box one time, didn't go through much of what was inside of it, just wanted to know exactly what it was. So I thought I'd give you a quick unboxing, and then over the next week or so, maybe a little more, I'll do a full review and maybe some comparisons, maybe even see if I can uh, jailbreak it and put a different operating system on it. So let's go ahead, without further ado, and open the box, see what we've got inside. So when I open this up, it is a little bit stiff. That's what she said. There we go. We've got a little card here at the top that says learn the controls. You've got the Google Chrome notebook, all of the different controls here along the bottom. On the back, it's got the get on the web information, some things we like uh, to keep the latest news, get help or participate, visit google.com slash chrome OS. Put that off to the side for now. Here in the front is a little flap that opens up. You see we've got here the power brick, AC adapter. We've got the power cord to hook into the AC adapter, US only of course for now. We'll put that off to the side as well. I notice a card fell here behind the back that says, if you crack this open, you'd find Intel. Wonderful product placement there. And of course, that gets us to the meat of the device itself. Pull this out is the notebook and the battery as well. It looks like there's something else underneath here, so let me just go ahead and keep pulling things out. We'll see what else we've got. There we go. In addition, we've got here in the bottom the regulatory notices, the safety notices, all of those sorts of FCC compliant information. Now that I've got everything out of the box, and let's start pulling things out and looking at it. We've got here the battery pack. It says it has 58.4 watt hours. That's very nice. And then we've got the notebook itself. Very lightweight, covered in plastic, of course, which we will open. And just a few seconds later, I worked my way around the plastic. Uh, it's got this rubberized finish on the outside. Uh, nice because it doesn't hold fingerprints, but uh, a little odd. I don't know. Uh, you've got a card slot here. I would assume to be a 3G SIM slot. We, of course, have this area where we can put the battery in. Let's go ahead and do that right now. I'll just slide that on and pop. There we go. And we should be ready to open it up and get started. Now, if I open it up, I've got it backwards. Now, if I open this up, you see we've got the 12.1 inch screen, the front facing webcam, microphone, and it automatically turned itself on. Very cool. Here we have the keyboard. It is a flat, very flat, very non, non glossy, non, uh, not really, I don't know, nothing really jumps out at me. Uh, it does not have any physical buttons here on the touchpad and it's walking through the startup process. So let's just see what happens when I walk through the startup. We've got your language selection, your network selection. Now after that first screen we have the Chrome OS terms and conditions. If you want to accept that you can do that. Let me go ahead and accept it. It is now checking for updates. And now it's installing the latest system updates. And while it's doing that, let's take a quick look around the device itself just to look at what ports are available and things like that. If we lift it up and look at this side, we've got the vent, the fan. We've got a VGA port, so if you wanted to put it out to a screen, you could. We've got another fan on each side there, by the way, a little vent. I guess maybe not so much a fan. Uh, got this little item, which doesn't appear to do anything. I think perhaps it's an SD card slot, but there we go. Yes, SD card slot. We've got our headphone adapter and the USB port and the power adapter. So, very useful. Nothing on the back, nothing on the front. Again, like I mentioned in the news video, very flat, very unbranded. And there we go. After a little bit of time, probably four or five minutes, it finished its update. It now is rebooting with this little Chrome logo. And it's asking me to sign in. So I'll go ahead and do that off camera. All right, and not too terribly difficult. I'm signed in under my main account. There we go, it's asking to take a picture, so I'll just go ahead and just take a picture of you guys. There we go, we'll hit OK. 
and hopefully here in just a moment we will be in the operating system which is as you may or may not know just a browser now one thing I do see that I'm going to like I believe if you go to the upper right hand corner here this has been here the entire time from the time I first turned it on you've got the battery meter you've got the wireless indicator which like I, I showed in the beginning you set up the network very first thing and then you've got your time and I guess date settings so that is just consistent it kept it all from the initial setup procedure very cool now the first thing we're greeted with here greetings welcome to the pilot program in your hands is a chrome notebook a piece of reference hardware that we all call CR48 but you can call it whatever you like but basically that's just the welcome to the program notice just lets you know that you're using a chrome notebook a test device and all of those fun things here we've got our getting started the info on the touchpad standing by starting up keyboard info status icons info living in the cloud which is a big concern for a lot of people the browsing information which being that the majority of this is a browser that's going to be an option for a lot of people the Chrome Web Store and how to print uh, in addition there's some items that did not show up immediately the guest mode and happy trails happy trails I assume being the you're now prepared yeah there you go this is uh, the first time walkthrough I'll end up going through all of that and see what else I can glean from it but that's about all I've got for you today this is just the very quick here is the notebook here is all of the the features that I see about it as far as the specs I've gone over that very briefly they're they're really not obvious so I'll see if I can find out more about it but I will be giving this a thorough test over the next week or so and I will give you a review with some more information as it becomes available to me so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time